Greetings from the World Health Organization in Geneva. Nutrition has come a long way since the first international conference was held in 1992. Unfortunately, it has not come far enough. Many complex questions have emerged in a world of radically increased interdependence, rapidly developing technologies, and continuing unmet needs. What kind of food is the world feeding its 7 billion inhabitants? What current agricultural policies and technologies for food production, preservation, storage, and transportation be adequate as the world's population continues to grow? How well does the nutrient content of the world's food supply match its primary purpose, and that is to sustain human life in good health? Why is it that severe undernutrition and obesity can exist side by side in the same country, in the same community? These are some of the questions that will be explored at the Second International Conference on Nutrition, which Dabik Cho is jointly hosting with FAO. The conference will bring together a vast range of expertise and perspectives in areas such as agriculture, fisheries, health, trade, consumer concerns, and the social and economic determinants of nutrition. All forms of malnutrition will be discussed, from undernutrition and its related health problems to the recent epidemics of overweight and obesity, which now affect every region of the world. One aim of the conference is to provide the scientific basis for sound nutrition policies that promote food security and food safety while also promoting health. Nutrition policies must navigate their way through a web of conflicting needs and values, like the mandate of the agricultural sector to protect the livelihood of farmers, including smallholder farmers, the public health mandate to promote healthy food choices and ensure that the need for essential nutrients is met, consumer food preferences, and the extent to which the food industry caters to these preferences or actually helps create them. Agricultural chemicals that increase yields yet may harm human health. All of these issues need to be addressed. Yet another recent trend is the rapid rise in the demand for meat and other animal products that coincides with rising income levels. Can the environment sustain this demand? Is it actually good for health? Does it introduce added risks? The challenges at the policy intersection of agriculture, nutrition and health are already enormously complex. On current trends, this complexity will only grow. For all of these reasons, the coming International Conference on Nutrition will need to be a watershed event.